All right, guys, here are top 10 shortcut keys I always use when I open CapCut desktop. Let's get started. And today's video is sponsored by my homies on Patreon. Thanks so much for the support. If you want to be my homie on Patreon, you can check on the link in the description box below. In CapCut desktop, you can find all the shortcut keys on the top right corner. Just click on shortcut. There you can find all of them from this pop-up window. You can customize the keys to your preferred keys. You can do that by clicking on the key, input your preferred key, then click on save to save it. And now my top 10 shortcut. You don't need to drag the whole video in the timeline before trimming the unwanted part out. You can use the mouse to skim through to the part that you really want to select into your first rough cut. Press I for in point and O for out point. Then later drag that part into the timeline. And that alone will make you go through your rough cut stage really fast. Compound clips are a practical example of working smarter and not harder. Compound clips allow you to group multiple clips, images, and audio together in the timeline. And that makes it easy to add effects to that very multiple clips. Select all the clips you want to group together. Press Option G or Alt G if you're using a PC to create a compound clip. Now you can easily add the effect animations to that very compound clip. And that will affect everything inside the compound clip. This is direct opposite of the previous one. This is when you want to make some changes to the videos inside that compound clip. Select that compound clip, press Shift Option G or Shift Alt G if you're using a PC to undo that very compound clip. Do the necessary changes and press Option or Alt plus G to create a compound clip again. You can only get access to the keyframe animation if you've created two keyframe points on that very clip or an image. In the timeline is an image and I'm going to add two keyframes to it. Now press Option or Alt plus K to show the keyframe animation. Then you can easily work on the curves to smoothen that animation. Once done, you can press Option or Alt plus K again to hide that keyframe animation. Take your playhead to wherever you want to make a split. Press Command or Control plus B to split or cut that part. If the clip is on top of another clip, then take your playhead to where you want to make the cut. Click on that very video, then press Command or Control B to split that part. This is very similar to the previous one, but with this you can split through two or more clips in the timeline. In my timeline are five clips stuck on top of each other. Just take your playhead to where you want to make the split. Press Shift Command plus B or Shift Control plus B if you're using a PC to split through all the clips in the timeline. You can then delete the part that you don't want in the timeline. And before we continue on, these are basic shortcut keys that you need to know as a video editor. This runs across all the softwares that you'll be using when it comes to editing. This is my favorite so far. I use this all the time when I'm editing in CapCut desktop. Click on the video or image you want to duplicate. Press Option or Alt and then drag upwards, downwards or sideways to make a duplicate of that very video or image. And with this, it's a must know. You're gonna use this a lot when it comes to editing in CapCut desktop. This, if you've been watching my tutorials, I've been using these shortcut keys a lot. This is where a video or an image is below another video or an image and you want to see that very video. Click on the top video, press V to disable it. From here, you can see the video below it and then work around it. Later, if you don't want to see that video below, click on the top one, press V to enable it back. This makes it easy to jump 10 frames forward or backwards in the timeline. Take your player to where you want it to start. Press shift plus arrow forward to jump 10 frames forward. Or if you want to go back 10 frames backwards, press shift and arrow backwards to jump 10 frames backwards. I think with this, it should be everyone's favorite. When you're done with your editing and you're happy with the result, 
press command or control E to bring out the export window. Then you can do all the necessary changes and export your video. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.